everyone, how's it going? Sorry about the delays there, was just getting some stuff set up. We have a freshly prime, primed Bosque figure that we're going to paint up. Thank you for spending some time with me on Saturday night. I am looking forward to painting this guy. How are you all doing tonight? some reference photos pulled up here and we'll get ready to get started on this boss figure. I am sorry for any booms, pops, or explosions that you might hear. People are still firing fireworks in my neighborhood, which technically is not legal, but hey. What can you say? Alright. First thing I need to do is we need to figure out what colors we're going to use for this guy. So, I know obviously for the eyes, we're going to go with a Army Painter Dragon Red. I'm thinking for, let me dig through some things here and take a look. Let me turn off notifications. I got a new streaming computer today. And I need to turn off some system notification stuff. here and see what colors I've got that we can use on his his um, uniform here. That's a possibility. A, it's a base tone and then highlight up for my sulf, sulfide ochre. That might, I think that's a front runner right now. I've also got a troll claws, but I don't think it's yellow enough. It's more of a tan color. And then, so I think we'll go with the sulfide ochre. And then his main body, of course, for for his um, his vest, the white vest part, we're gonna go with a spaceship exterior. That tends to be my go-to quote-unquote white color that I use for everything. And then his skin.
the stuff in the background is driving me nuts. Who writes a song called Voicemail? If you're watching, drop a comment in the comment box. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know you're here. Let me know you're you're watching while I try to get it get some colors figured out for this guy. Of course, we'll need my custom black here. It's I mix it up by the bottle. Um, we'll need some gun metal, but I've got to get this skin tone figured out. Let me look at another reference photo here. Sorry for my arms in the way. I could go for the darker brown boss look. I think I might do that. Yep. Or actually what I am going to do is I'm going to use this sulfide oak ochre and wash it dark brown. But for his fatigues, I'm going to use this moon dust instead. I think I like this color better based on another reference photo. So we'll go with this. Get it in shut. And get it to focus. This moon dust, army painter moon dust. I think that's the color we'll go for. I keep changing my mind on his skin tone. I think this is what we'll go for on the skin tone. The sulfide ochre. And then, of course, we've got some leather brown up there that we'll use. And we'll pick a few colors out as we go. So, first thing I need to do is this sulfide ochre I've not used yet. So, if you are into using Army Painter paints, as I've mentioned before, I keep a small bottle of um, stainless steel agitators on hand. And I'm just going to drop it in my Army Painter paint. And um, that'll help mix it up a little bit. So, pull the, the dropper tube off. I tend to use my teeth to do it because why not? Squirt paint all over my hands as I put it back on. This stuff is like the color of um, anyone, the hot mustard you get from McDonald's. All right, so since this pot's never been used, it's going to require quite a bit of shaking. So. Bear with me as I chat with you while I shake this bottle of paint up. So, like I was saying, I got a new new streaming laptop today. The old ones were giving me fits if you watch some of the old streams. Um, I hope things are coming through clear on, the, on your end. Let me know what you're seeing. If the music's too loud, if my mic's too loud, um, let me know what you're thinking. So, this is going to require quite a bit of shaking. I got these, a bunch of army, well, I've, I've used army painter paints for my primary paints, but when the war store was going out of business, I managed to snag a bunch of bottles for about a dollar a pot, um, or a buck fifty or something like that, so I couldn't pass up. I've got them in a drawer right now because I need to 3D print a new, or not new, but I need to 3D print some more paint holders because they won't fit. So, best way I've found to shake them is some good old fashioned elbow grease. And, looks like I've got it to where I want it. So, there's my ochre color. And we're gonna start getting some paint on some miniatures here. So, happy Saturday evening to y'all. Let's get this guy started. So, decided to go with the uh, one-handed and the uh, tox grenade um, setup. I know that's kind of the one that I've seen most people go for. I just think it looks better. And we'll get some paint on a miniature here. Again, drop me a message in the comments. Let me know you're here. I'd love to hear from my 
followers, watchers, I don't know what to call y'all. I think I'm hitting my, yep. Hitting my um, headset onto the lamp above my head. Looks like my wife is watching, and then uh, Tim, good to see you, man. Soaker on the skin of this guy. So, priming, I went ahead and went with a Zenithal highlight, so it's not real strong, but you can see how I put white on top, gray on the bottom. Made it real easy. Hey Matt, yep, I am painting a Bosque. I needed to take a break from those dogs that I was painting. Um, starting to get a little bit stale on them, but I'll probably return to those tomorrow night because I need to get those out the door for a customer. Um, but Bosque is the new thing right now, so I wanted to go ahead and get it in while he's still fresh in everyone's mind. Uh, Joe, I use hot glue. Just a hot glue gun. Nothing fancy. To stick them on there, it is a hot glue gun, and then once the once the basing's all done, I use a super glue. Thanks for trying to answer that one, dude. Though. Just a reminder that all comments are about sixty second delays before I see them, so that's about thirty seconds before I see what you say and then 30 seconds before you hear what I respond. So bear with me if I don't answer your question right away. No problem, Joe. As far as painting handles, mine are um, just something I found on Thingiverse and 3D printed a bunch of. Matt, you'll have to tell me what Arvo means, because yeah, I'm not I'm not familiar with that term. To, I've, I've got the Walking Dead miniatures game as well. I actually bought it to play with my wife, and one day they'll get to the table. One day. I may take a break off of some taking too many commission orders after Gen Con is over and work on some personal models, because I haven't worked on some personal stuff in a long time. So right now I've really thinned down this ochre because I'm wanting it to almost act like those new GW contrast paints and then and really take excuse me, not and then and really take advantage of that Zenithal highlighting that I had put on the miniature. If you're just joining us, welcome to the stream. Drop a comment in the box, let me know you're here.
I'm sorry, I'm scrolling. I think I've seen the last days. And yes, dear, I know I have Harry Potter miniatures to paint too. I've got a lot of stuff to paint. My own Legion stuff. Getting a base coat onto this boss character. I also have Sabine primed up as well and ready to go. I doubt we'll get to her tonight, though. All right. So next color, we're going to do his outfit in moon dust. Give it a good shake, as with all army painter colors. And I already have a little bit on my palette, but I need some fresh stuff in there. try to keep my palette off screen right now because the camera focuses on it rather than the miniature. See, if I put that there, when I pull the miniature up, it wants to focus on the palette down there. So, all right, we will cover everything. I'm not going to be too clean because I'll go back in and cover anything where I got this yellow that I didn't want it there. We'll get covered up with some spaceship white or other colors. So, I mean, I'm not going to cover it intentionally, but I'm not going to try to paint within the lines necessarily either. So. I really am happy with how far the Legion miniatures have come in quality. For some reason my scroll's not keeping up with it. With the comments. I'm not sure what's going on there. So, I may have to pull up the stream on my phone and track comments that way. This is going to take a couple coats on this to make it look decently covered. So. Yeah, I'm real happy with these color choices. Right. Give me just a second, I'm going to pull up the stream on my phone. so I can see comments because for some reason my computer is not. I've got to figure out if I'm missing a setting or something. All right. <laughs> Camera focus. Yeah. I've, I mean, I've gotten, I figured out why I was having camera focus issues, and it's because it wants to focus on the brightest thing in the shot, apparently. Um, I could turn autofocus off, but it, it's a lot more work, 
as far as making sure that I stay in frame myself. So um, we'll just go with it that way. Camera focus. Yeah. I mean, I've got oh, you don't want to hear me talk to myself either. Let me turn that down. how much I hate painting yellow like, with a passion absolutely just abhor painting yellow yellow white red all right here's where we're at so far <laughs> gotta wait for some layers to dry Some more yellow on there as soon as that first layer dries. Missed some spots though. Projects you all working on? Leave a message in the chat comment. Let me know. Also, if you haven't, um, feel free to share the video if you want. Um, if you know somebody that would be interested in watching how I'm doing this. Um, also, I run a miniature painting group that you can find. It's called miniature painting show and share um, feel free to look it up and I think it's a public group possibly uh, would love to have people that are into miniature painting over there and check it out trick since I don't like painting in small areas is the arms aren't glued on so I can take them off if I need to to, to get to those areas that are tough to get to. Alright, let that dry for a second. Uh, um, oak brown. We'll use that for the stock on his gun. We're also going to use that, I think, for a couple other colors on him, but we'll get to that later. details and where things are going to go while waiting for the yellow layer of paint to dry. Also looking to see if I missed anything. So a lot of people when they're painting yellow tend to, or have a tendency to use a thicker layer of paint and it 
don't do that. It really messes things up. Stick with your consistencies. Just make sure that you, or just know, not make sure, just know that you're gonna have to do more layers than you would with, say, a brown or a blue. And just once you recognize that, you, it gets less frustrating. It doesn't mean you'll enjoy it as much. I still don't like painting yellow. It's not any easier with airbrushing yellow. It still takes a few coats. But at least you'll be more accepting of that if you work with those layers. And if you thicken it up, then you lose detail. So it's not worth the trade-off. Take your time and paint those layers on them for the yellows. All right. Pull his box out for inspiration in case I need it. I think while I'm waiting on yellows to dry, I can go ahead and get some metallic black onto his, I almost dropped him into my paint palette, get some metallic black on his gun. So pull some of my gun metal over, give my brush a good wash, and pull some of my custom black over. Mix the two over here on the side of my palette, and that's what I'm going to do his weapon with. So, see how long I feel like painting. Maybe we'll get this guy done tonight. Maybe not. Probably be easier if I went ahead and just pulled his arm off since it's detachable. But we can go touch up some things if I miss something afterwards. see under the scope I missed right there, and in the hand well. Alright, there we go. Coming together nicely. Get a second coat onto the gun stock. up since I'm not I'm afraid that if I pull his arm off I'll detach him from the, the paint handle and I don't want that to happen so
think for the tox grenade. I'm gonna paint the whole thing just gunmetal. And then what I'll do is I'll give it a nice, like a, a neon greenish glaze after a green wash. That way it looks like it's glowy. So it's black around his ankles and wrists. All right. I think I know. I know what we need to do here. My dog's barking. to go. side. Welcome to all of our new viewers. Thanks for stopping by. Glad to have you. Drop a message in the comments. Let me know you're here. If you want, you don't have to, but it's much appreciated. I'm just putting some base coats in on this boss figure from Star Wars, for those who aren't familiar. He's a bounty hunter. Got some on his arm there. Yeah, we'll have to go back and touch that up. We'll finish putting this ring of black on and then we'll go back over all of our yellow again with another coat. It's going to take probably one or two more to get it to the, the level of contrast I'm looking for.
feel like I'm being quieter than usual today. Focusing on getting this guy painted up quickly. We've got quite a bit of paint work to do before Gen Con hits. And the week prior to Gen Con, I'm not sure how much painting I'll be able to get in. I've got family in town visiting. So, gotta get as much possible done over the next two weeks as I can. some of our army painter spaceship exterior this is like I was saying this is my quote-unquote white color vest and stuff. So this will probably take two coats as well because white just doesn't cover. So we'll get this. We're going to get all the little straps around his body, but I'm not going to go too far into the straps until after that layer of yellow has finished drying because I don't want to end up wicking some of this gray onto the yellow because it's still wet. So we'll get this, and then take a quick look at some of the reference photos. But we're doing pretty well on our is where we're at as far as blocking in base colors. I think we're in a good spot. things on his knee, it's right there, and there's one on his thigh, and the reference photos I'm seeing are black, so we'll touch them black. try to remove his left arm without pulling him off of the hot glue base. Ta-da! Touch up somewhere that I touched where the paint wasn't quite dry yet. I thought that would have been dry already. Yeah, Matt, that's what I've got pulled up is... Um, the, that's what I usually use. Alright, so that made it quite a bit easier to get in here to spot but what I also noticed is I splattered some I'm just knocking into everything at my paint table I splattered some paint onto areas where I didn't want it to be so it needs like a quick cover up paint job
it also lets me see that the underneath his arm is not as yellow as I wanted it, so good thing I pulled that arm off. Give it a little touch there. Then go back into my black metal and cover up some of those yellow spots. Set that hand aside. Go into my black here. My long term goal is to have a palette cam so you guys can see what color I'm mixing. Um, so I'll have to. I was checked one out when I was looking at the computers, but it'll have to wait for a little bit. Probably till after Gen Con. Let's see what I got left monetarily after Gen Con. All right. That's a couple areas where I got some black onto his arm around the cuff, as I had said earlier. Not the neatest painter up front. I rely on my washes to help me out quite a bit, and then clean up during the highlight phase. So, a couple areas I want the yellow a little bit darker, namely on his lower body down here, and right on his back. Some more yellow too. Right below his knee. Because I see lots of places that need more yellow. Like I said, I hate painting yellow. Just when you think you're done, it dries and it dries. For some reason, it appears to dry clearer than when you applied it. And yeah, yellow. Yellow is a ton of fun. So, if you have any questions about techniques, things I'm doing, feel free to ask. I would love to answer those questions. Get the back of his hand here with some more of his skin tone. Alright. Back to our spaceship gray. And if you're just joining, thanks for stopping by. Glad to have you. If you're watching this on record, feel free to try to catch us live next time. I don't have a set schedule for what I'm streaming now. Kind of right now, it's as often as I can, because I'm trying to get things done in time for Gen Con.
course, Bosk isn't completed. He's one of the few. Oh well. The reference photo I'm using is a. It looks to be a Kotobukiya. Yeah, Kotobukiya. From my experience, they tend to be pretty close as well. On a Kotobukiya, it shows his straps as being dark gray, and then on the box art, it shows his straps as being the same color as his um, vest that he's wearing. So that's a conundrum right there. I'm trying to decide which route to go. I think I end up going the Kotobukiya route. Let me get this arm off as well. Make it easier to paint. His movie reference, the, the stills I can find are only a partial, so um, doesn't have anything lower body. And it depends on, well, I've seen a, a full body shot from the, um, from different parts on the set, and it really depends on <laughs> what lighting he's under. So, but the the main one is gray. They're, I'm going to go with the gray. They appear to be gray. And like I said, Kotobukiya seems, tends to be pretty close on what they're looking for. So I think we go with... I checked the 501st CRL. I pulled it up and there was um, there's no images that I found under the Bounty Hunters Guild on there. It's, if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. It's close enough. I know the customer will be super happy with it either way. Because this is not for me, unfortunately. Appreciate you checking that out from me. Who else is watching? I would love to hear from you. Drop just just stay here in the comments. That's all you gotta say is hi. I mean you don't have to say anything, that's up to you, but So I think for his straps, I'm going to go one, we'll go one step darker to an ash gray. <laughs> Matt, uh, I think Kotobukiya and the set photos are pretty consistent in that they're both gray. The box art is stylized, so we'll go with the gray. This is where we're at so far. I took his arms off for ease of painting.
welcome to everybody just joining us. Thanks for joining. Glad to have you. here. was the right choice. Painting Bosk, absolutely. We're, I'd say, about 70% done blocking in the colors. around his waist is more of a tan color so we've got to account for that too I got this one in the mail a few days back I've got three more coming that I'm painting for customers, well one for me and one more in the mail for me and two more in the mail for customers, so this one is not my miniature. Spaceship exterior on his vest here. Uh, was it Doctor Who or was it? I thought it was some other 40s or 50s um, space drama, but it was used somewhere else. I do know that. life of me drawing a blank right now on where it was. But yeah, it wasn't Doctor Who. I'm pretty fairly certain on that. Alright. Glad I turned this arm over. I noticed a spot I missed under it.
Was it from a Doctor Who that was that old? I, again, I'm not, not recalling. see what color his little of course I can't see it on this shot or that one he's got that hose on his back and I can't find what color it is The painting, Michael. Um, I just started. This is probably uh, probably my fifth or sixth night of streaming, maybe something around there. And it's really, I've just got a webcam facing straight down on my paint station. Nothing super fancy with a laptop sitting on there and a lighting setup. We're going to do his belt, I think in that same, nope, we're not going to do it in the same tone that I was thinking of. We're going to go with something just a touch lighter than that, or um, darker. I think we'll have to custom mix a color for that one. So we'll grab some skeleton bone, some of my oak brown, and mix them together. And that's the color I'm looking for. Yeah, I think it's going to be black. Um, gotcha. Um, well, when you get to it, um, a webcam can be had. This webcam, I think, was $50 US. Nothing super fancy. <laughs> 